Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Current air temperature is a kind of steamy 70 degrees because the dew point is now at 68. So with a two degree difference between dew point and temperature, the humidity is pretty high. Relative humidity 93%. And in fact, we have some patchy fog out there in inland areas, particularly of Hardy and DeSoto counties. East wind comes in at about seven. We'll find that wind shifting even a little southeast today, continuing to promote a high humidities. 67 degrees Wachula, Arcadia, 69 degrees Northport, 68 in Mayaca, 69 degrees in Punta Gorda, closer to the coast, closer to the 70 mark. We've got 70 degrees coming in at Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, uh, Inglewood, 71 degrees in Venice, 69 in Bradenton, and 72 out at Longbow Key. A trail of moisture streams in from the Pacific across Mexico and wraps up around an area of low pressure that has produced such inclement and stormy weather across the country. It's continuing to drift off toward the western Great Lakes as it does so, wrapping cold air down from Canada back behind it. That is allowing for a lot of energy contained within this storm system and a very slow process as well as there's just not a lot of motion in this low pressure center aloft. It's basically kind of cut off from the rest of the flow. So this frontal boundary will take its good old time as it meanders southward through the deep south, getting closer and closer to Florida by the time we hit late midweek. Until then, showers will be in progress across the deep south through the mid-Atlantic up to the northeast, stretching down to the Louisiana Delta. As that frontal boundary slowly progresses southward, those rain showers will tend to get closer and closer to the state of Florida increasing our rain chances starting tomorrow and spiking out those rain chances as we head into Thursday. We'll look for warm and humid conditions again this afternoon with temperatures running well above average. We didn't quite break the November record as an all-time warm month, but we came close. We're second in terms of uh, uh, historical warm Novembers. So uh, again today, uh, probably uh, temperatures running about 5 to 8 degrees above average, depending on whether you're inland or closer to the coast. Cooler later in the week, uh, more seasonable temperatures, I should say. No cold blasts of air anywhere in the forecast. You can see the snow showers that are occurring across parts of the Dakotas, stretching up into the upper horn of Michigan. That low pressure area has a trailing cold front and warm front that are producing scattered showers now through the Virginias and some heavy rain there as well. North Carolina seeing a little bit of a break from the rain showers, but eventually this cold front will work its way closer so that the rain showers will return probably tomorrow and Thursday. And uh, at that point, uh, again, the uh, airports of the Carolinas may suffer some delays. But today, everything looks pretty good for the Deep South. We have uh, quiet conditions across the Sun Coast with only some scattered showers over on the other coast expected. The uh, winds will be shifting today, coming in out of the west later this afternoon and eventually out of the southeast, continuing to pump humidity into the region, setting the stage for those late midweek rain showers. They'll be scattered, nothing really heavy, but they will serve to switch our winds around as the front moves through and lower our temperatures to more seasonable values.